What kind of offering do you need? Hi, hello. So we are going to investigate uh, my two haunted art prints here. I definitely believe that they're haunted. I've had some activity at my house. I've gotten some really great spirit box uh, responses as well as tarot card responses. And the flux has gone off a couple times while investigating these. I'm going to be running the spirit box to see what comes through as well as the equipment is on. And I'm gonna be doing a tarot card reading for these. Uh, I'm gonna do this art print first and I'm utilizing a tarot spread that is in my book, The Witch's Guide to Haunted Objects. So let's see what comes through. Of course, I wasn't freaking recording. And that just went off. The flux just went off. All right, let's turn the spirit box up. First question is, why are you attached to this object? Why are you attached to this object? The little sister's painting. Don't. Don't. The star. All right, they are attached to this because of the star. This is interesting because I've gotten this. Hey. hey. How are you? This is interesting because I've gotten the star card in relation to other haunted objects before. And it kind of makes me wonder if a lot of the reason why, um, obviously not a lot of the reason, but why some spirits choose to attach to objects is because of the, the kind of star quality it gives them, the attention that it gives them. Especially if it's something just like an art print, even if somebody doesn't think or know that this is haunted, it's hanging up in their house and they're admiring it and guests may come over and be like, oh, what is this art print? And they're giving it the attention. And so the spirit attached to it may kind of um, by correlation feel like the star. All right, the next question is, how do you feel about being attached to this object? How do you feel about being attached to this object? Queen of Cups. I think they like it. They feel emotionally secure with it. And I love how she's literally holding an object. Uh, they like it. What is something that you need from me? Like, what can I, what can I do for you? Four of Pentacles. They want to feel protected. They want to feel secure. They want to feel guarded and safe. What is your personality like? What is your personality? Did, did I say hate or eight? What is your personality? All right, I think to me this confirms, I was wondering, I've gotten the names Greg and Andrew come through and I was wondering if it was a masculine energy connected to this. The fact that two out of three of the cards are kings lets me know that yes, this is a masculine energy that is attached to this. Correction, I said two kings, it's a knight and a king, but either way, two out of three cards are masculine energy. The spirit attached to this is somebody who is definitely a little bit guarded, a little bit on edge. I think that maybe it takes them a little bit of time to warm up, which makes sense because I've also gotten messages of like, I'm tired, leave me alone, like I want a nap. <laughs> um, so I think that they are a little guarded, but they also have this energy of, they're a little bit intuitive themselves. They also have a lot of confidence and I think showmanship, like once they open up, Are you liking communicating with me right now? You can light that up to red or green to let me know. <laughs> if you're enjoying communicating with me, you can light it up green. If you're kind of over it and don't want to communicate with me anymore, you can light it up red. What do you like? What is something that you like? Oh, I just got goosebumps. Ooh. So this card doesn't always mean specifically what this is. Oh, I got goosebumps. Can you elaborate on that, please? This card is, um, it can be a card of like family and legacy. 
And the fact that it's a family card just kind of bothers me considering I was saying I'm thinking about passing these art prints along to somebody else because I <laughs> I don't like anything messing with my family and I am worried that that might be the case. What do you, what do you dislike? Check, check, check. They dislike strength and they dislike having choices. Honestly, I feel like, <laughs> like if this was um, a listing for a pet, it would be like, this dog needs to be the only dog in the house. I'm getting that impression with this. This doesn't want to be amongst other haunted objects. Like this wants to be the star. What, it doesn't like strength and compassion? Like it doesn't, This is my first time investigating this that I'm feeling like kind of uneasy. Danger? Stranger? Okay, I'm, I don't know how I feel about this. All right, is there anything before I close out this session? You can either set off this equipment. Stay. Is there anything else you want to say or convey to me? <laughs> they want an offering. <laughs> they want an offering. Why do you want an offering? Need it? Earned it? Need it? Why do you want an offering? Action? <laughs> action in the Page of Swords is a, a card of action, of like initiating action. Okay, so in order to like really show your, your true power, your true, what you can do, you need an offering, you need some energy. I'm not saying I am gonna give you an offering, but what kind of offering do you want? What kind of offering do you need? Can you back away from that? I've just realized that that has not gone back to its default blue. Can you back away from the red light? So it can go back to its default, please. Like that's weird. It's not even beep. Okay, what kind of what kind of offering do you need? Or want? What kind of offering do you need and want? And that thing has still not gone, it's stuck on red. Oh, I got the goosebumps again. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I'm selling these. Getting rid of these. I'm gonna, I don't want these haunted objects in my house anymore and I'm starting to get a headache and I'm feeling very tired. So, all right, this session is closed down.